YouTube, it's your boy King, and this is Slick Talk. So today I will be talking a Reese and his brother. It's a family occasion. I want to discuss the relationship between a Reese and his brother, Jody, which is PJ, who is part of Benchmark. PJ joined Ambitious Entertainment first, and he came out with a hit, which was called Banan. He was one of the top dogs at Ambitious Entertainment. a Reese came double back and he came with paradise and he came with couldn't he got a hit with couldn't and dropped paradise and paradise was received more than aspen and any other project that pj has dropped i don't know i'm not into his music so a reese became a bigger star than his brother and i think jealousy came into the picture i don't know where it started but jealousy came into the picture and my problem is pj seems to be acting like a fucking damn fool because he is not close with his brother pj it's like he has a problem with his brother we don't know where the problem stems from we know that aries has that line where he says jody told your worst that i'm gonna do it better i don't know if it's that but that that seems like it's always been like a sibling rivalry but pj is taking it a bit too far He's taking pictures with guys like Flame, doing songs with Flame and every other guy. He's not close to his brother. There's not one picture of him and Flame and A. Re of PJ and A. Reese within the last, I want to say, two years. Since 2017, 18, 19, we're getting on 20, almost three years, and we haven't seen A. Reese next to PJ. So there's definitely something between the relationship. Somebody is hurt. And somebody is lashing out. And I think it's PJ. I think the problem is PJ has pride. That's all it is. He has pride. He does not want to acknowledge the fact that his younger brother is bigger than him. Which is fair. I mean, all of us would feel a certain type of way if our younger brother is doing bigger things than us. And we're doing the same thing. We have similar interests. I get it. But at the end of the day... Charity starts at home, bruh. If you work with Aries, you're contributing to the same household. So what's the fucking hatred about, bruh? PJ seems to have this underlying jealousy of his brother Aries. He's taking pictures with his enemies. He's doing songs with his enemies. He's not even close to Aries. I remember there was this interview that Benchmark did in like 2019 last year. And Slicker asked them about a reason, like, and the Wrecking Crew was like, what's the relationship? And PJ is like, don't ask us questions about guys that you don't see us in pictures with. That took me back, like, wow, okay. So PJ is not feeling his brother. There's an underlying jealousy there. He has a problem with the boy. He has a problem with a Reese. A Reese became bigger than him. And I was going through PJ's catalog with his other partner in Benchmark. And it's a fucking, it's embarrassing. It's fucking embarrassing. So I went to the official Benchmark page and they have like three or four songs on it. And all the, almost all the songs are, are under 400 views. I'm telling you. I saw one song did 300 views. Another song did 200 views. The, their biggest song to date is that song they did with Flame. And even that one is on 15,000 views. So PG definitely feels a way because his career is not going the way he thought it he thought it would go. And the thing is, PJ is older. So PJ has kids. PJ has mouths to feed. So there's definitely an underlying jealousy there. Bitterness. Pride. My thing is, PJ, talk it out with your brother and mend the relationship. Don't be hanging out with his enemies. Don't be chilling with his enemies. Don't be in pictures with his enemies. Which team are you playing for? Which team are you playing for, bro? What are you doing? Come on, PJ, you, you're playing with fire right now. Because the minute if Aries decides to fucking cut PJ off completely, if he cuts PJ off completely, PJ 
is fucked. No way about it. He just fucked. His career is not going the same. He's not gigging. When was the last time you saw a, a pig a flyer with PJ's face on it, with benchmark on it? Out of the two in benchmark, PJ has the most talent, but I think PJ is also carrying the, that other guy. I don't know what's his name. He's carrying him. Maybe if PJ was alone, there would have been something different. But the fact that he's in a duo and he's 30 years old, my nigga, the kids, gotta, the kids have to eat, bruh. You, you need to let that nigga go. Get the fuck out the group and do your own thing, PJ, because right now, your career is struggling. It's struggling. And at the, in their official YouTube page, they're like, they have under 500 subscribers, I think. So, the things are not going well for these guys. PJ, stop hanging out with the enemy. Aries has a song. I don't remember what's the song name. It has a line where he says, like, he, he with the enemies. He's an informant in Mesh's project. So, PJ, at this moment, he's an informant. PJ, you're looking funny in these streets, bruh. You're looking funny in these streets. You would think... I think at this moment in time, you would think that PJ does not even have Aries' number. This is how things are looking. This is how things are looking right now. So PJ is looking a little funny. Sometimes the enemy is the one that is next to you. Sometimes the enemy is run is the one that is next to you. Aries grew up right in front of PJ. He started rapping because of PJ. Why is PJ so prideful? Why is he so jealous? What's the jealousy about? Why are you mad at your brother? Help him. Work with him. Get on his projects. Tell him to get on your projects. Because obviously, if PJ was to get a feature from Avery's, his songs would probably do like, like 100,000 to 500,000. When he's doing his thing on his own, trying to prove himself, he's struggling big time. PJ, my nigga, you need to get right, bruh. You need to get right. Communicate with your brother because things are not looking well for you. Shit is real, nigga. People, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe.